president thank you commissioner minister e justice it seems to have been very much at the centre of both the previous slovenian presidency and of the french presidency and we know that the coming czech presidency also wishes to continue the good work on e justice. e justice i think within this parliament and certainly within the legal affairs committee also chimes in with a theme that we have long had close to our hearts that of access to justice and how we provide access to justice on a cross border basis. it is hard enough to get at access to justice even in a national context. we think about access to lawyers about affordability about being able to understand or to comprehend the legal system but put that into a European cross-border context with different legal cultures, with different languages, it becomes even more complex and difficult for our citizens to access. But of course we should be able to harness those difficulties and to put them together with all the possibilities offered by modern technology. If Europe is borderless, so is the internet. If languages are difficult, technological tools now offer us the possibility of instant translation. We should be able to develop the technological possibilities to deliver better cross-border access to justice. Now it's clear that a number of our member states have seen the possibilities within their own borders and are developing their own systems. That's good. Also, there is joint working on a number of projects, some to provide linked up registers to do with businesses, to do with land registries. Again, it's good. But for us as parliamentarians, what we really want to see is something that delivers directly to our citizens and to their concerns about justice in their daily lives. We want Europe's citizens to feel the difference of an e-justice project at European level. Now, it appears that the work on the justice portal may do that. It may give information about who, what, where, which lawyers, which interpreters, where can I get legal aid, all sorts of information. The project is ambitious and it will need to be. But we don't want to just stop there at information. We would like to see the real possibility of access to justice cross-border, online. To see those European instruments of the payment order of small claims available to our citizens online. Now it's clear that some member states are working on joint projects and again it is good that we harness that enthusiasm and that ambition. But we also need the Commission to keep the European context, to keep it as a European ambition, so that we move forward together in a coordinated way. That is why, attached to Parliament's uh, report, there is an action plan that brings out many of these themes. This could deliver our dream of a real Europe of borderless justice. Let's make it happen.